there's been a lot of um, uh, talk in the news about uh, whether this virus can become airborne. And I just like to address that and say it, it's really not in the biology of, of this specific virus to do that. It's, uh, e Ebola's evolved a very strategic um, transmission uh, procedure through, through the population, and that's through bodily fluid contact. And so that's, that's been very successful in this outbreak um, for the virus to utilize. And so it's, it's, I sort of liken it to, to this idea that if you have a rat that has babies, it's not, its babies are not going to have wings. It's just not in its biology. And this is very similar to, to the biology of the virus. Is it not also the case that uh, we've not seen in, in the history of, of our knowledge of viruses any virus change its mode of transmission so dramatically from, That's say, correct. bodily fluids to airborne? That's correct. You'll, you'll, you'll see viruses that can infect new species. That's more, more probable than having a complete change in the mode of transmission that happens.